last night we had um, some severe weather come through and had a, 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 a spike in electricity maybe it went out for a minute you know an RV when you're on battery when you have a battery backup anyway when the power goes out you really don't know it unless you're running your air conditioner you know the the things that are so large that they won't run off of a, a battery or a inverter but you know everything else stays on I've got uninterruptible battery supply you know backup for the computer and uh, everything that I was doing you know you just heard a click in in the uh, UPS and that was it but then when the power you know just in a second or two when the power came back on the furnace started this this clicking noise like I, I just picked up a switch out of my electronics box but it's just the contactors in there were just and they just got faster and faster and faster just like that so um i went to the thermostat because i've been running the air conditioner not the heater I haven't run the furnace all year went to the uh, thermostat and it's off you know it's not calling for heat i turned it completely off and it was still just getting with it over there so um i ended up i threw all the breakers and it was still going because it was on 12 volts it wasn't on 120 so i had to pull the fuse and that stopped it i waited a few minutes put the fuse back in and the fan came on so i said well the you know contactor stuck now so I went to the thermostat, turned the uh, thermostat on, called for heat, turned it off, and it made no difference. No, no difference at all what situation the thermostat was in. That contactor was stuck and the fan was on. So I pulled the fuse. Th uh, today I uh, put the fuse back in and it was clicking. I'm like, man, so I pulled the fuse and um, pulled the panel off the outside and I'll show you what I found now. So after all that, I came out here looking for a, possibly a contactor that's, you know, stuck. And very well may be what's going on, but check this out. I pulled this one screw, there's one screw that holds this control board on cut a uh, cable tie that had this these wires bundled up here and wiggled this board out and water is under the board did a little research and this has been a problem with Atwood for at least five or six years People have addressed it on the internet as far back as uh, the, you know, several, several years ago. So I got a phone number and a name for the person that's dealing with this problem. I will let you know how that comes out.